Multiplex can be a great way to create your own media library and stream movies and TV shows for the same. Once you have set up a Plex server, you will not have to use any services like Netflix or Prime Video. Although, for setting up a Plex server, you will need NAS for Plex. But the only problem you'll face while purchasing NAS for Plex is, which one to pick? There are too many manufacturers in the market. My today's video is about top 5 best NAS for Plex that's are available in the market. If you want to know price and more information about the products that mentioned in this video, you may check the link in description box below. So now let's get started. Starting at Synology NAS for Plex. Synology is one of the most popular brands out there when you are looking for high-performance NAS solutions for creating a Plex server right at your home with ease. The Synology Disk Station DS920 Plus NAS for Plex is one of the most powerful options available out there. For starters, you get a total of four hard drives in it which can be expanded up to nine hard drive bays using an additional accessory. With these hard drive bays, it also offers two M.2 SSD slots for up to 225 megabytes per second of transfer speeds from this NAS for Plex. A great thing about having this many drive slots is that this NAS for Plex supports Synology Hybrid RAID, RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID 6, RAID 10, and many more. To ensure that the performance offered by this NAS is consistent at all times, Synology uses the Intel Celeron J4125 quad-core CPU with a 2.0 GHz base clock and a 2.7 GHz boost clock. This is combined along with 4 GB DDR4 RAM, which can be expanded up to 8 GB if needed. Taking a look at the back of this NAS, you get limited connectivity options since there are only two 1, GB ELON ports along with two USB 3.0 and one eSATA ports. Because Synology is a fairly reputable brand, you get a three-year long warranty included with it for long-term usage. Now our second product is NAP NAS for Plex. When compared to most other NAS for Plex available out there, QNAP and its offerings are quite unique since they offer various handy features and connectivity options for media consumption. NAP's TS453D4G NAS for Plex is the best option for media consumption. But before that, taking a look at its storage capacity rating, you will find a total of four drive bays along with a PCIe slot for installing either a PCIe SSD or a 10 GB networking card. Due to this, you can have a lot of storage space along with a high-speed caching drive. To ensure that you can configure your drives as you please, QNAP has offered the support for RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID 6, RAID 10, and a few others. Coming to the best thing about this NAP NAS is that it offers a high-performance CPU in the form of the Intel Celeron J4125. Since it has this quad-core CPU clocked at 2.0 GHz base and 2.7 GHz boost clocks along with upgradable 4 GB DDR4 RAM, you can expect excellent performance from it. You get ports like 2x2.5GB LAN, 2x USB 3.2, 3x USB 2.0, and even an HDMI 2.0 on the back allowing you to directly get video playback from this NAS making it perfect for media consumption. Similar to Synology, QNAP also includes a 3-year long warranty with its NAS for Plex for your peace of mind. Our third product is a Suster NAS for Plex. A Suster is a sub-brand of Asus which is known for making all sorts of high-performance computer parts which is also true for its NAS for Plex stated here that used high-end components inside. This Asuster AS5304T NAS for Plex can be another great option if you are looking for high-performance NAS options that do not charge a premium. Just like the previously mentioned Synology and NAP NAS models, this one also features four drive bays for up to 72 terabytes of maximum capacity along with the support for a single M.2 SSD caching drive. You also get the support for RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID 6, and RAID 10 with this NAS. While the Intel Celeron J4015 CPU of this CPU might not be the fastest, 
it is still a decently powerful quad-core CPU thanks to its 1.5GHz base clock and 2.5GHz boost clock. Talking about its memory, it comes with 4GB DDR4 RAM that can be expanded up to 8GB if needed. Similar to the NAP NAS, this one also comes with an HDMI 2.0 port on the back along with 2x2.5GB LAN ports and 3x USB 3.2 ports for excellent connectivity speeds and direct video output. Since Asuster is an Asus sub-brand, you also get a standard 3-year warranty with it. Now number 4, TerraMaster NAS for Plex. TerraMaster is one of the most premium brands of NAS and related accessories which offers a wide range of high-end options, all of which offer excellent performance including its NAS for Plex. The TerraMaster F5-422 NAS for Plex is made for heavy-duty usage. Starting with its storage capacity, it features a total of 5 drive bays along with the support for a single caching SSD drive. But the best thing about this NAS for Plex is that depending upon your RAID configuration, you can get up to 670 megabytes per second transfer speeds. Talking about RAID configuration, this NAS for Plex also supports most of the common ones like RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID 6, and RAID 10. Talking about the processor of this NAS, it relies on the Intel Celeron J355 which happens to be a quad-core CPU with a 1.5GHz base and 2.3GHz boost clocks. Unfortunately, while you do get 4 gigs of RAM that can be upgraded to 8 gigs, it is DDR3 instead of DDR4 resulting in slightly lower performance. Fortunately, you do not have to worry about that since you get a very high-speed 10. GBE LAN port on the back along with another 1 GBE LAN, and 2 USB 3.0 ports. As for the warranty, TerraMaster offers a decent 2-year long warranty with this NAS for Plex. And our last choice is WD NAS for Plex. While WD or Western Digital is primarily a brand of hard drives that are meant to be installed inside NAS units, it also makes its own NAS models that can be a great option for your next Plex server. Western Digital's NAS for Plex can be another viable option if you wish to build a high-capacity NAS for storing all of your media files. This is possible thanks to its four drive bays that come empty out of the box. However, this NAS only supports hard drives and does not accept any SSD drives meant for caching. Thankfully, you can still get decent performance numbers thanks to its RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, and RAID 10 support. Another issue with this NAS is that it uses the Marvel Armada 388 CPU which runs at 1.6 GHz and only offers two cores. Not only that but as you only get 2GB of DDR3 RAM which is not expandable, the performance of this NAS is not the best. Although, you do get a decent number of connectivity options on the back in the form of 2x1 GBE LAN ports and 3 USB 3.0 ports. Western Digital also includes a 2-year long warranty with this NAS which is on par with other options. So what do you think about this video? If you think this video is really helpful to take your decision easier kindly subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to notify our upcoming video. Thank you for watching this video.